What's up guys, Stepano here, I'll make a quick short video about three farming techniques in my build that I've been playing for the last week, in case and has questions, but before I can show you that, I need to go kill this conqueror, so I can show you my watchstones in three areas that I primarily farm in patch 3.13. This is my Tornado Shot Raider build, he's level 97. Um, I have two more items that I want to finish up before I feel like this build will be fully complete. But before I show you about my build, let me show you a little bit about the Atlas strategies that I partake in. Early League, um, I showed you guys a little bit about my strategies in Glenic Arc, Farming Tower, and Magic Finding. But uh, with time, I have uh, been working on three other sections. The first section would be the top left Haywark Hamlet. In Haywark Hamlet, it has very good synergy with the middle. The middle is called the Uncharted Realms. In the middle, I choose these four points where it gives me Zana missions in the area, uh, give me five. This doesn't matter, but it gives you additional favor. It gives you quality, quality, but the last point is the most important point. Pass not taken. Pass not taken allows you to get double missions if you do encounter Zana in this area, and it helps you reach more harvest. When you open Haywark Hamlet maps, one strategy that I haven't actually been doing is opening the map with Zana, and you have these points which give you additional crafting options, chance to contain a sacred grove, Plants harvested, harvested have the rarest of two chosen crafting options and harvest crops in the area have a 100% increased chance to have a tier 4 crop. So when I log on and I have a craft I want to finish, I will Alk Atolls. The map is called Atoll and Atoll is in the top left section. So uh, if I want to get harvest or if I want to sell crafts to make quick money, I will run Haywork Hamlet. If uh, I'm bored of running Harvest and I want to make other, and I want to try a different technique to make money, I go to Valdo and I run with these stones specifically. Um, I run with Harbinger Drops Valuable Currency. This is around 15x in league and it's called Auspicious Stone. And then I run with three Ladings, Ladens, which are around 4x perfectly divided. It says Harbingers in the area have 15% chance to drop an additional stack of currency. As for what stones to use in Haywork Hamlet, I personally use tier 1 Bountiful times 4. Uh, depending on what you're trying to craft uh, or what is working for you, I think uh, either of these would be fine. Now, when I'm mapping outside of Haywork, um, this is a very, very important uh, Uncharter Realms passive. It's called Secrets of Stones. And it gives me 25% effective Watson modifier. So if I do sextant my mods, I do get 25% more modifiers and essentially more loot. So we have Valdo's Rest for Harbingers and we have Haywark Hamlet. Both of these are Alk and Go, Alk and Go worthy. You just need a map in the section and you need to alk it and you're ready to go. No setup, no, no fuss, just alk and go. The only other te technique that I've been farming is doing dunes and nuva steer. Dunes and nuva steer is a little bit more complicated because you have to add um, possible scarabs to make it better. But you grab a dunes map from your inventory and generally um, you would pair it with um, a legion scarab, generally polished, is what I run. And you'd alk it, and after you alk it, you would open it with legion. And what does that do? Dunes is in New Vistir. New Vistir is in the bottom left. If we open it up, we have each legion contains an additional war horde. Time of Splinters drop in stacks. 
and legions have three sergeants and always have rewards. And then I just stacked here, stacked, uh, you know, platinum stones and new here. The ones I recommend that I don't actually have, all of them is you want, you are 100% chance to have Templar army and 100% chance to have Marraketh army. I believe. Whichever, when you go into your fragment tab, whichever ones of these are the most expensive, I think it's Timeless and Marraketh, you would want to try to stack something that would say you'd you have more likely chance to encounter them. All right. So those are my three farming techniques that I went over really quick, and I just wanted to show you the build that I just killed the Conqueror with. It's a Tornado Shot Raider. Um, and if I push P, you can see the, the tree real quick. I'm gonna show you on Path of Building. Right now, my current DPS with configs of standard boss, pretty, pretty uh, standard config. I'm at 1.9 million per arrow. Personally, I'm working on my bow. My bow right now has 18 to 30 cold damage. Eventually, I'm going for tier 1 cold. If I do that, I jump up to 2.3 million. And I'm trying to finish my gloves. So I want Frenzy, one. I want one more mod on my gloves, so Frenzy Charge. So I'm working on Bramble Clutches. When that's done, I'm gonna be at 2.45. I have everything included in my POB and I'm going to attach it at the bottom of this YouTube in case you guys have any questions. Um, some notable things is I don't take King of the Hill because when I'm doing rituals I do not want the chance to kick the boss out of the ritual because I'm trying to do challenges at the moment so I unlearned that. This is completely optionary but this caps my chaos res. This is just my take on Tornado Shot Raider in patch 3.13. Uh, as you can see, it does melt bosses and I will do a bossing video once the build is complete. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. And like always, if you have a chance, just like, um, like the YouTube channel and subscribe. Um, thank you very much. And I do stream around five times a week on twitch.tv. Uh, slash Depano TV. So if you do have any questions, you can ask them there or in the comments below. Thank you so much, everyone. See yeah. ya.